Today's video is a live update for the firmware 3.07 on the NX radios. So let's get started. Today's video, I wanted to do a live walkthrough of the new firmware version 3.07. One, because I hadn't done a live video since the first time I updated this radio and I did a tutorial. Second, is to look at some of the differences that are key points for me. And I think, you know, just to go over a couple of upgrades that the new firmware has in 3.07. There's a lot of changes down in the description. I'm going to put the link, which will have the PDF file for all the NX Airware changes. That way you can go through and you know everything that's been changed. So let's go ahead and update this radio. I'm going to update it like I've done all my other radios and just try to go through the Wi-Fi. So let's push enter, scroll down to system setup. Click yes, scroll down to Wi-Fi utilities. Click on connect to network. So it's connecting, obtaining IP address, and it's already connected pretty quick. Now we're gonna go down to check for updates. And so mine's already updated to 3.06.02 which was the last one available. Now we're gonna click on the new one, 3.07.14. So we'll push enter. It's gonna load up the firmware and now it's downloading the firmware. You can see on the screen it says 3.07.14. And then at the bottom it shows you how many minutes is remaining, the speed that you're downloading, and also the percentage on the far left side. And then you've got this bar in the middle. So a couple things that we can kind of go over why it's updating. One is the other version that you can update your radio is through the SD card. And in the past, there's been some cards that, um, you know, weren't the right card type or speed or class. But one thing that really stood out was you had to use a certain size card. You couldn't use a big card, which is easy to do nowadays because a lot of these SD cards are 64, 128, 256. I mean, there's big SD cards. Um, in my radio, I've got a micro SD card out of an old cell phone I found, and it's only a 256 megabyte. It doesn't take a lot of information um, to do most of the things on here, so, you know, a big SD card is really not needed. If you have one laying around, great. But if not, let's say mine's only 256 megabytes and that holds all the planes I've put in here and, you know, other uh, things like screenshots on radios. I mean, it's it doesn't take much room to save information from these radios. However, now you can go above 32 gigs on your SD card. Now there's two different formats you need to be aware of when you're setting up the card smaller than 32 gig and bigger than 32. When it's smaller than 32 gig, it has to be in FAT or FAT32 format. When it's larger than 32 gig, the card's gotta be in an XFAT format. Also, you can use SDHC and SDXC cards. You can't use ultra capacity, which are SDUC. Now, all this information I'm telling you is going to be in that link that's down in the description. So, you know, if I'm going through it a little fast, you can always revert back to the actual change log with all the description. So it looks like we're about 75% on our update. We're getting pretty close to being finished with the actual download. In this log, there's quite a few things that I like personally that I'm going to look over here in a second just to check them out and kind of look at it together. As long as this Wi-Fi update finishes and completes, we'll move on to doing that. And I've done this in real time, so you can kind of see how long this update is going to take you and give you an idea of what to expect step by step. Speaking of the SD card, and when we're talking about update, there is a new special function on the SD card 
where you can actually format the SD card through the radio. So you don't have to take your SD card out, put it in the computer and format it that way. You can just do it straight on the radio. So now let's look back at the radio and see what we've got on screen. It says download complete file name spmtx.sax. Install, do not power the radio off. Update can take at least five minutes before assuming there's a problem. So something I wanna talk about real quick right here and then we're gonna push install and just keep moving forward. You wanna do this with a charged up radio. I've seen a high amount of issues updating a radio because the battery's low and it'll be going through the update process and the radio loses power and it shuts down and then it bricks the radio. And brick, I mean, the radio will shut down, but then when you try to power it up again, it will sit there and just do a constant flash over and over. It'll just keep saying the Spectrum logo, like when you power it up and it will turn off and it'll keep going. And it's just a never ending cycle. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you're updating your radio, please go ahead and make sure you have a charged battery or have your radio plugged in. So let's go ahead and push install. And you can see we've got the spectrum screen on there. We've got the little bar going from right to left. It'll probably do that a couple of times and then it may flash on and off just to show that it's power cycling. That's typically what happens when you do an update. You can see right there, it's already power cycling one time. As I mentioned before, there is a lot of things that were upgraded in this firmware change. So definitely look at the PDF down in the description. Click on that link and check it out and see, you know, if there's something that you want to have done in the past, it's not on there. If not, I would strongly encourage you to go into the RC Groups Forum for the NX Transmitters and give feedback on there on something you're looking for or something you want changed or fixed that you noticed in the past. And, you know, the um, Spectrum team, they monitor that thread so, you know, they can pass that information along. Also, in that thread, the NX transmitter on RC groups is a really informative place to go um, to ask questions in chat, but also, you know, if you're on the channel, just drop a comment below and I'll be glad to help you with anything I can. Um, we'll try to get it figured out, you know, on your radio. So, um, you know, just like I say, drop a comment down below and we'll try to get it figured out and I'll try to walk you through anything I can. So it looks like it's starting to speed up at the bottom, the little bar. That's when you know it's getting kind of into the into the firmware update because it's basically like it's trying to publish, you know, everything onto the radio uh, to finish up. So hopefully here in just a few minutes, we'll have our update already done and we won't have any issues. And we'll look at a couple of features that I'm noticing on the description log and, you know, check a few things out and finish up the tutorial on how to update to 3.07. Something to note, you will notice once I started doing this update, the Wi-Fi light went out, which is not a big deal because we're no longer on Wi-Fi. We've got the update pulled, downloaded, and installation into the radio is happening right now. So we no longer need Wi-Fi once we start doing the install. So don't be worried once the blue light goes out. That's normal procedure. Well, it's taking a, actually, <laughs> it's already done. So we've got the radio updated. Now we've got our update installed. Let's verify that we're on 3.07, which if it went straight through like in the video, there shouldn't be any doubt that it is updated to 3.07. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn the radio off. You can see at the top right hand corner, 3.07. I'm gonna power it back up and you'll see it in the same spot. Another thing you can do is push enter, scroll down, system setup, click yes, and you can scroll down to about and regulatory. That's gonna show you 
at the bottom of the firmware and it also shows you the serial number. So now we've got everything completed. We've verified that we're on version 3.07 and we're ready to use the radio. I hope y'all learned something new today or found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and push like on the video. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one.